it's amazing what you can pack into a day when you just kind of take yourself out of routine and put yourself in a new environment because we went to the we were supposed to go to the waterfalls we didn't actually make it the whole way <laughs> as you'll see in the video though the whole thing was like this giant waterfall it's a waterfall called reach falls we didn't reach it because you have to actually walk up river um through this incredible picturesque cascading like canopy like i was in a movie it was so adventurous though i loved it so for the next two days i'm just going to be filming tons and then I've had to keep track of the days. So today is December 26th, which is exactly halfway through my trip. And normally when I come to places like this, I like to just throw my calendar out the window and just follow the pulse, right? Um, and not try to force myself to film things at certain times. But because I have a limited timeline here, I had to be a little bit more strict. Um, which sucks a little bit, but I'm just embracing it as this new opportunity. Because I've never had to do that. Um, at least in my travels and I have this big feeling that this is like training for future trips where I'm filming and it's a bit more drop and go like I've got to hit the ground running and those kinds of trips they take a lot of mental stamina because there's very few breaks um, you're usually surrounded by tons of people um, so imagine the filming that I would do in a location over three months if I stayed here for three months or when I was in Hawaii for three months or in Portugal for five weeks. All of that filming I'm compressing into 10 days. So it's a different pace but I'm embracing it because it's going, I feel like it's, it almost feels like a superpower to be able to go somewhere beautiful or somewhere that means a lot to me and then to be able to capture it in a video and then share it with you guys and to be able to do it in a short turnaround time. Uh, that's kind of what I'm working up towards. Uh, so, this is all practice. This is what it looks like on the other side of what I just filmed, which is why you hear waves in the background. They're right there. With each passing day, I find myself settling into a rhythm, a way of being that fills my soul. This feeling wells up from deep inside me. It comes to me in the space, in the details, in the conversations, in this silent knowing I remember who I am. Something as simple as doing my laundry at the retreat center makes me so happy. I remember what it's like to live for weeks or months at a time at places like this. Here it feels like I can breathe, I can rest, I can play. I am not a machine, I am alive. One of the things I love most about this place is they have these baskets where they keep the leaves from different plants in and anytime you can go in, grab whatever leaves you want, put them into a cup, pour hot water and create your own organic herbal tea. It always smells so refreshing, it feels like I'm drinking a garden or a tree. Hey guys, it is December 28th, it's Saturday, and I am pretty tired. This morning I went again to Reach Falls with some guests. That was that beautiful waterfall with the 
super clear turquoise water and that was really fun um, but for the last couple of days I've been doing tons of filming and to the point where now I'm like okay I've got a cap this and I'm also learning so much I'm not definitely not complaining because this is what I asked for to come here and to film one of my favorite things about go natural is the fact that they supply natural skincare products and so they gave us natural sunscreen natural soap natural shampoo and conditioner and today they did a workshop where they taught us how to make a lot of these things with ingredients and products that we already have at home like apple cider vinegar or um, shea butter things that would be raw ingredients that would be easy to find at a health food store so Anya, the manager at Go Natural, is teaching us uh, some natural cosmetics and air fresheners, deodorant, all kinds of stuff like that. This is a banana oat coconut oil face mask. Okay, it's getting dark now. I also want to explain something really silly and crazy. Do you know how I got this mark on my forehead? Yesterday, I was walking across the property looking at my camera and I smacked my forehead into this tree that kind of hovers over the main lobby. There's no, it's not a lobby, it's just like grass, grassy area. And I walked into it hard enough to leave this mark slash bruise. So that gives you some indication of how much filming I've been doing, but you know, some battle, battle scars never hurt. As I prepare for my departure, I try to soak in every ounce of color, light, air, and water. I wish I had more time. I feel like I just opened the valve of my creative flow and now I have to turn it down already. Still, I'm so glad I got to come and experience this. I know it has changed me. On the long bus ride back to the airport, I am filled with dreams and memories ideas, and visions of what is possible. slow process of integrating everything that I experienced in Jamaica into my life here, which is not an easy process. Ever since I started traveling when in my early 20s, I discovered the phenomenon of post-travel blues. And for many years, I had to deal with this dichotomy of everything I experienced, learned, and traveled, and the way who I became when I traveled, and then what to do with myself when I came back to my life in the cities in Canada. Of course, I will have to process all of the footage that I recorded when I was in Jamaica. And finally, I also have some really, really exciting news. I guess I'll just tell you because I'm going to be working towards it for the next couple of weeks. As a result of meeting someone incredibly special that at this retreat center in Jamaica, I am going to Guatemala to film for another retreat in March. I'll give you guys more details about it later, but like, ah, this is actually a dream come true. When I came back to the city of Toronto, I always knew that like somewhere, somehow, I'm gonna be going back out into the world one day and filming and that everything I'm doing is practice for those days. So it feels like those days are here because um, in nine weeks, I'm going to Guatemala and until that time, there's still a lot I want to capture, film and practice and get into the groove so that when I show up in Guatemala, um, 
my whole filming process and workflow is even more anchored. I am just so, so grateful that I am going to get to do this. I'm excited to share all of this with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, for being here, and I love you. Thank you, and I'll see you soon. Bye.